Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me today. My content is mostly fragrance uh, reviews and lifestyle videos, so I do hope you will consider subscribing if you're here for the first time. To my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. As you've seen in the title of the video, I'm talking about fragrance collecting mistakes. Okay, so if you're a collector, if you're already a collector or if you're you know, contemplating starting to collect fragrances, I've got a few points here. I think I've got about 10 or 11 or 12, you know, to tell you um, off. So I do hope that you will stay in and listen through. To make this video less boring, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do my makeup here. I'm not big on makeup, so I'm just going to do what I normally do before I come on this um before I make a video so I'm going to do a makeup uh, thing with you here and then um, I have put my primer my um, face primer this is what I use for my face primer this is called Beloria and this is not a paid promotion these are just things that I use I've had a couple of people asking me so I'm going to just say that and if I didn't acknowledge my returning subscribers pardon me thank you so much for joining me today okay so I'm going to be talking about fragrance collecting uh, mistakes while I do the um wh while I do you know just put a, a, some makeup on my face i i am i use this elf uh foundation this is what i use but this is the wrong shade i actually use suede this is the wrong shade i purchased it it came in the wrong shade it is what it is this particular shade is um where is the shade? Okay, okay, I'm gonna put it in the description. Marple, okay, Marple. I was gonna put it in the description uh, box below. So, anyway, I'm gonna be doing my basic makeup. I am no expert whatsoever while we're talking about the fragrance collecting mistakes, things to avoid. Number one is formal fear of missing out. Okay, I cannot say that enough. And now, having said that, I think I'm gonna use the black opal. I think this is better for me. I'm gonna use this as my foundation, guys. I'm gonna use this foundation. Okay, fear of missing out. Um, you see, if you are collecting fragrances and you are constantly watching fragrance reviews, you know, uh, reviewers coming here all the time, there is this tendency of, oh, there's this fragrance, this new fragrance. You know, I don't want to be left out. Try to avoid four more guys, the fear of missing out. Otherwise, you'll end up buying so many fragrances that are so unnecessary, okay? Fragrance reviewers like myself hype up certain fragrances because we love them, some of them because we have to bring new content. So it's important to note that it's not every fragrance that a reviewer will come here and hype that you really need and you must have within your collection, okay? So that is point number one. Point number two is don't buy fragrances because of compliments. I know we come here with videos talking about, oh, compliment getters. This is going to be a compliment getter. Don't buy fragrances because you're seeking compliments. Because if you're doing that and you're collecting fragrances because, oh my God, there's a new fragrance in the market and a certain reviewer said this was going to get me compliments, you may actually be disappointed when the fragrance turns up. Okay, number three is going to be about high price. Okay, I will always be an advocate of buy what you want okay i don't look at prices per se when i'm buying fragrances i personally am into fragrances but what i can say is high price does not exactly equate quality if you're one of those people that think uh you know because a fragrance is expensive it's going to you know be of a higher quality you might find yourself uh you know disappointed i actually put uh, foundation with my brush as well sometimes if I can't get it to the places I want so high price does not necessarily equate uh, quality okay I know there's this thing of oh you know um, if you buy a cheap perfume blah 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 but my point there is buy what you love what you love is you know it doesn't necessarily have to be expensive okay and I'm not slagging off expensive fragrances no uh, the other point, maybe this is point number four, I don't know. Okay, um, buy, uh, make sure to test, 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 test. I cannot emphasize that enough. Look at this, guys. I buy my testers off a company called Notino UK. Okay, this is from Notino, this is Juliet Has a Gun, but not a perfume. This is a tester, okay. In this tester, this I think is a two mil tester or was a three mil tester, I can't remember. Now, if you're going to buy one mil okay this is one and a half mils let me just do it like this. this is a one and a half mils these are the basic testers that you get in every in like fragrance stores if they throw in testers this is one and a half mil one mil one mil 
is equivalent to eight to 10 sprays, depending on the atomizer, depending on the atomizer, okay? These obviously have an atomizer that is precise and straight to the point. It will give you what you want. Now, if you're gonna get one and a half mils, that means you've got 12 to, 12 to 18 sprays in this. Trust me, I know a lot of times when we reviewers come with testers, people don't like that. Oh, you, you're coming here with a tester, you know, you it, it's too small, you don't have the experience of the fragrance. I beg to differ. Trust me, with 18 sprays that I get or that I will get off this, I would have gotten enough experience of the fragrance. I don't care what anybody thinks. So get yourself a tester, get yourself a decant, you know, Get them, you know, get yourself, especially for the niche fragrances, because those can be so expensive. Get yourself a decant, you know, make sure you have the, you've tried the, the fragrance uh, and, and you've worn it so many times to a point that you know that you love it, okay? This is a tester here. This was a, a it's a decan. It's a five mil decan. Get yourself a decan. It's, it will save you a lot of money instead of you winding up with a lot of junk. Or get yourself these ones. You know, these are 10 mils. Most of the time, 10, 12 mils. Get yourself something like that. Okay, I'm going to go for the eyebrows here. This is going to be a bit tricky because I'm not in front of a mirror. I would have done this on my dresser, guys, but I haven't done a closet tour, so... You know, I didn't want to kind of give away a lot. After I've done a closet tour, I will, you know, start doing um, whatever, any any side of my closet. Okay, so what I do with my eyebrows basically is I take it from that corner, that corner all the way up to there and then go down like that. I find that this is the easiest way to, 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 to draw my eyebrows. Then I take it from the top here to meet that line there and then there okay that's basically what i do and then i start to fill it in okay same applies here because the left side can be a bit tricky so i go same applies right to the top there and then at the bottom on top of that eyebrow there and then i pull put another line there meeting that center line not worrying about that one at the corner and then that's it i'm gonna do my I'm gonna blend them in, okay? That's what I do, okay. So anyway, I, I'm gonna use some concealer to kind of finish them off. I sometimes use a brush as well. I find that it's easier to just use a brush. You know, this is just a basic uh, eye pencil. I'm not using anything, um, anything fancy or anything. This is just a basic eye pencil. These you get for, I don't know, less than a, a dollar or something. Now. Another point is don't follow trends. It's not every fragrance, uh, uh, you know, that's hyped that you will like. And don't forget that, you know, there's always intense marketing when a fragrance company, you know, releases a fragrance. I go in with my with my uh, brush like that sometimes. You know, I find that it just makes it easier to blend it in like that. And like I said, I am no pro. So if you've watched hundreds of makeup, uh, you know, uh, videos. Don't come for me here and start saying, oh, you did things back to front. I'm not into makeup. I've never been. I just do makeup for the purpose of the videos, okay? I rarely wear makeup, but anyway, this is it. So yeah, it's not every hyped fragrance that you need because, you know, you don't want to end up duplicating your fragrance, you know, so don't follow trends. Oh, this is what's going on. Amani has released this one and that and that and that, and they have a flank eye and a flank eye and you feel the need to collect everything. You will just end up losing money. That's all I can say. You will end up losing money. Okay. Um, I can only excuse, you know, if you're a collector and you're just doing it for a, for the fun of it, because I should have asked in the first place. I mean, what is the, ho is it a hobby? Is it aromatherapy? Are you just collecting because you're just collecting or you're just fall falling for the hype? So there's a difference there. You know, if you're like myself, for instance, I, I've always loved fragrances from when I was young. So I don't mind having tons and tons of fragrances, but trust me, I don't keep fragrances that I don't love or don't use. But what I've been doing, you know, of late is I do come with a lot of different fragrances here because I just feel the need to bring content to my viewers. OK, so, you know, don't go and oh, this person has reviewed this um,
fragrance so i need it i need it i need it another thing that you also need to be uh, to be to 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 take note of if you are collecting or you're starting to collect is take note of fragrances that are within the same fragrance family okay same fragrance family like say tobacco fragrances okay um if you buy one tobacco fragrance and another tobacco fragrance and another tobacco fragrance you know this the the fragrance will tend to have sometimes a similar dry down vibe so you don't want to end up duplicating you know or having a lot of fragrances that kind of smell the same okay I don't know what I'm doing there, but you, you don't want to end up having a lot of fragrances that kind of just, you know, a duplicate of one fragrance after the other. So that is um, another point there. Another point being, remember, fragrance are sub subjective. So if you're listening to reviewers, you need to, you know, know whether this, you, you would know whether a reviewer has kind of like the same fragrance test, taste, sorry, with you okay and even if you feel that reviewer has the same fragrance test with you or taste i don't know why i keep saying test um i'm gonna go in with my concealer just to blend this up uh, if you feel the reviewer has got the same fragrance test with you i'd still say go watch more reviews okay go and watch more reviews i don't need too much of this because this is quite uh, a lot and i'm gonna go under the eye i really wish i'd done this on my gonna go under the eye you know make sure that reviewer you know has the same taste with you but still check out other channels so that you don't end up you know um buying something because it's hyped or you're gonna get so many compliments or you because fragrance is subject subjective what i like might not necessarily be something that you like okay so it's important should i put some here it's important as well, you know, to just make sure that the person that you are following who's hyping the fragrance, you also cross check with other viewers. OK, and now when you're also buying a fragrance from a shop, um, make sure that you spray the fragrance on yourself as well as on a piece of paper if you can and then leave it for an hour or two okay because what happens with the fragrance is the top knots are the ones that are going to greet you they're the ones that are going to have this you know that they're going to draw you into this beautiful aroma okay but don't forget these are just going to these are opening way for the mead and the base so you don't want to buy a fragrance uh you know you you try a fragrance just immediately and then you purchase it and then you realize as soon as you get home or something or, uh, you know, you realize two, three hours later, oh, no, because what you're going to be left with is the you're going to be left with the base notes of the fragrance. And those are the ones that you're going to live with. You know, the top notes are usually 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes even 30. And then you've got the heart, which is the uh, mid. The mid is going to go on maybe to about an hour. And then you're left with maybe six, eight, 10, 12 hours, depending on the, you know, the strength of the fragrance of the actual fragrance. So if you just go in a shop and then you test the fragrance quickly, uh, and then, you know, you, you make a decision quickly. Oh, I think I like this fragrance. And then you go home and then you realize, oh my God, you know, this is a, a, something that happened to me with Elisa Blapaha. Uh, what I did was I went into, um, uh, a, a fragrance shop. Okay. And I didn't actually spray this fragrance on me. I sprayed it on a card. Okay. Just trying to highlight here. I sprayed this fragrance on a card. Okay. And when I sprayed it on a card, it was gorgeous. Um, but then what I did in the end was I took this card and I put it in my bag. Okay. And when I put the card in my bag, guys, I for completely forgot about the, the card. But what I remembered was that opening and I kept on saying, yes, yes, yes. I need that fragrance. I need that fragrance, that, that Elisa Bleu Parfum. And then what did I do? I went ahead and I just purchased that, that the fragrance, okay? And then when the fragrance, I didn't purchase it right away, obviously, because Elisa Bleu Parfum, I said what, I'd say it was as good as a blind buy. I didn't purchase it right away. I purchased it later. And then, oh my God, I was left with this fragrance, with this kind of honey. It's got that beautiful honey and uh, orange, um, uh, African orange flower opening and, and that kind of thing. But then it mixes into, like what I always say, feels like a you know like a bug spray vibe and i just was cursing myself and thinking i should have listened to myself i should have given this fragrance more time you know so that is something else that you need to 
to kind of, you know, uh, I'm not good at this, guys. So don't even, you know, um, you know, it's it's something that you need to, you know, kind of be on the lookout for. Um, so another thing, again, is less is more. Because when you're collecting, there is that thing where you want to purchase and you want to have this huge cupboard full where, you know, your friends can get to see all these fragrances that you own and stuff like that. But trust me less is more when it comes to fragrances you'd rather have a few fragrances that you will use considering that fragrances do expire you know i don't normally do this i actually do it with a uh, with a with this but i can't quite see what's going on here so because fragrances expire guys you need to make sure that you purchase fragrances uh one that you love and then two that you will use now i'm going to use my uh powder i'm i'm using um stay mate stay mate by stay met okay by rimmel i have two choices here so i'm gonna see which one works i'm gonna start with the, this one this one i think i'm gonna go with the darker one because i've got two here this one's quite light but i think it's not gonna work because i'm, I'm already seeing that my face is quite you know light at the moment um and my my hands are always ashy because of sanitizer for some reason i am you know, after this whole Rona thing, I just use sanitizer all the time. So my hands are always ashy. So I'm going to go with the powder. Like I said, my makeup routine is quite minimalistic. I don't use a lot of makeup. Now, going back to the topic of the fragrance collection mistakes, uh, make sure that another. Yeah, here's another thing. Go for Middle Eastern. Try Middle Eastern. Try your hands on Middle Eastern fragrances, especially if you, you know, want to get into the niche fragrance collecting. Uh, because Middle Eastern fragrances kind of have that... Uh, some of the houses, you know, um, uh, clone or dupe or usually make most, uh, you know, inspired by versions of the niche fragrances. And because of that, you get the experience for lesser. And then you can decide whether you want to purchase a certain fragrance. That's what I do because I am adding on to my niche. I am creating a niche collection myself. But I always, you know, just make sure. And this is not to rubbish anybody's work. This is just what I do. And that is something that I'll recommend. Middle Eastern fragrances will always give you a, you know, kind of like a stepping stone. Even in terms of how niche fragrances are and the vibe and stuff like that so i would definitely say try that don't fall for the marketing i hope i've said that you know enough don't fall for the fragrance marketing also you know there are some um fragrance reviewers that we receive a lot of um you know paid uh what you call it like uh, a sponsored content and stuff like that uh from companies from fragrance uh, companies so you need to make sure that when you're watching a uh, you know a fragrance review make sure that you know whether the person has been uh, sponsored to do a video not that when you get sponsored you get subjective i'm not saying that but i'm just saying sometimes it helps you know comparing notes somebody who's personally bought the fragrance for for themselves or somebody who is doing a paid promotion because there is a bit of some bias there at, at times. I am drawn to these two lipsticks. Uh, which one? Should I go for the red because I'm wearing red? This is from Slick. Or should I go for this one? I think I am drawn more to this one. Okay. Uh, this is Slick and this is Matt Me. Okay. For those who are interested, I'm going to put that. Uh, I'm going to... My lips are... quite dry at the moment guys quite dry the problem with matte lipsticks is if you if you're not precise you know and you put it at the wrong place you can't take it off okay so that is that and i'm gonna put some lips lip gloss as well so just check if your reviewer is using is talking about a content or is talking about a fragrance that they've been paid to talk about or that they have been gifted or that sort of thing because you need to make sure that you compare in terms so that you don't fall into this bias trap so yeah i think i've rumbled more than enough i'm going to put some glue um this is spiking glue gotta be glued that's what i do i use for my ends or this one 
and like I said, this this is not a paid promotion. This is just me. I think I'm going to go with this one for the edges because this one's going to spike my hair. So I'm going to put this one aside. Um, wait for the... Okay, I think the lip is dry. And then I'm going to use this um, lip gloss. This is from e.l.f. Okay. It is a pink lip gloss, but it doesn't come off as pink. I'm just going to use it so that it moisturizes my lips since I am using a matte. Because matte uh, lipsticks can dry... Uh, your lips i'm just gonna i think that's enough okay so yeah basically that is it avoid blind buying if you can otherwise you're just set setting yourself you know for a lot of shocks and surprises because you don't want to end up with a lot of fragrances you know I, I use a toothbrush for my ends and then i'm just going to show you how i do this i'm trying to make sure that this video comes to an end because it's already too long just take a little glue here and this is basically how i get ready guys this is how i get ready now it depends on what i want to do with my hair my baby my baby hair you can make this into curls or whatever it is or you know you know how we roll so yeah to just flatten it okay to just flatten it okay and then under normal circumstances i would use like a um, like a band you know tie a band there just to make sure that it dries and sets in one place and um maybe just do a touch of mascara let me just show you my mascara quickly just use a touch of mascara and this is normally how i just get ready to do videos okay to do videos this is basically how I get ready to do videos. This is the mascara that I would use. Express Control. What is it? Secret Express Control. Or I don't know. Yeah, that's the product. And then I just put... This one has got a lot of... The mascara is quite... It gives the, the you know, the lashes volume. Okay. So as promised, I am going to be doing these kind of videos, but I'm going to be showing you parts of my closet, but why I didn't decide to do this video, you know, on my dresser is because I haven't done a closet tour. So I didn't want to kind of, you know, give away a lot so that when I post, when I post the closet tour, I want people to actually watch. So I would, under normal circumstances, go in with, you know, the eye, uh, the eyeshadow or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use this Constance Carol blusher to wrap it up and then that would be the end of this video. So I do hope guys, you did enjoy the few points that I had to share with you. You know, I, I do hope um, that you did enjoy the few points that I had to share with you. You know, that's just to give my face a little bit of some glitter right there. It's not much. Like I said, it's very minimalistic. And yeah, that's just basically my look. I would have blended this better, but this is, it is what it is. So basically, this is how I get ready to do videos, guys. So thank you so much for watching me rumble on. I hope you did stay to the end of this video. My name is C Chronicles. I'm coming to you after this one with a fragrance review video as usual. I hope you stayed till the end. Stay blessed, stay safe, and remember to stay fabulous. Cheers.